In this video series, you're going to learn how to create your own DVD product that will be automatically distributed for you using a software called Kunaki. Now, Kunaki takes care of the distribution for you, but what you need to do first is you need to create a product and get it onto DVD. So we're going to go over those steps first. Now, of course, you're going to need some sort of product to put on DVD. This can be your own product, or it can be a product that you've purchased private label rights or resale rights to. Now, of course, the easiest way is to use something that you have rights to if it's a quality product. I have something here called the Basics of Internet Business that is a PLR product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Windows Media version of these files. Okay, so you can use either the Windows Media version or you can use an AVI version, whatever you want. Depends how you're going to set up your DVD. So first let's go over how to create a DVD from these files that will play on a regular DVD player as well as on a computer that has Windows Media Player on it. So what you're going to have to do is install a piece of software. The software we're going to use is called DVD Flick. This is a free software that will allow you to burn directly to a DVD, which is what you need for Kunaki to work. You're going to have to have your product burnt to DVD first because that's where it gets the source from. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use DVD Flick. So first you're going to want to download and install the software. And then just click download DVD Flick. And it goes to SourceForge and it will start its download automatically from there. Now once it's downloaded, just go through the install process. Okay, so here's what DVD Flick looks like after it's installed. Now make sure that you take all the defaults when you're going through the install wizard. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our project settings. So we go to project settings, and then we'll just give it a title. So we're going to call this Basics Internet Business. Okay, take the defaults for the rest of this here. Okay, and click on video. And again, we're going to keep the defaults here. Audio, we're going to keep the defaults here. Playback, so after a title has finished playing, what we want to do here, play the next title, play it again, stop playing, return to the menu. So you can pick how you want this to work. Let's say that we're going to return to the menu. And then burning, we can either create an ISO image on our hard disk or can burn project directly to disk. It's up to you what you want to do here. Eventually you're going to have to have it burnt to your disk in order for Kanaki to be able to read it. So I'm going to just pick burn to the disk. And it has already detected where my DVD drive is. So that's all we have to do here. Okay, so we just click accept and our project settings are now in there. So the next thing we have to do is add our video files. Now let's just click add a title. Okay, and then we find the titles that we want on here. Okay, so we have our different ones here. So what we can do is hold down our control key and then just pick them all. Click open. Okay, now we can move these up and down, so we need to move this up to the top. As you can see, we have in this particular pack, we have an order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's easy to tell where they belong. They also contain titles, so all we have to do now is edit each title. So in the first one, we'll edit the title, and then we can just call it Let's change the title here to what we want it to say. Okay, so the importance of branding in this case. And then we can choose our target aspect ratio 4 to 3, which is normal, or you can make it widescreen 16 to 9 like this. And what that's going to do in this case is stretch it out a little bit. So I'm going to keep it at normal. Accept. 
go to the next one and then we just do the same thing to all of these videos we'll just go and change them as need be okay so as you can see here I've changed all of the titles okay now what we do is we go to our menu settings and now we can determine what we want for a menu okay so we can have no menu or we can choose the different types of menus we have here we have mosaic orange LED etc so you just pick whichever ones you want I'm going to choose simple white and just click accept and now all that's left to do is to create our DVD just click on that just telling us our destination folder already exists and it's doing that because I've already created a DVD before so I'm just going to click yes let it overwrite it here is telling us that it's going to burn it to DVD after it's finished rendering. So we don't really need to see that again. So you can cl click on that. Click OK. And then it will go through this process here. There are seven different steps. And once it finishes those, it's all burnt to DVD. OK, so at this point, it has finished rendering everything. And it is now buffering it. And it's going to write it to the device. So once it's done, it's going to be on DVD ready for Kanaki.